If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Please and uh, like. That's the only way we can help this channel. And we actually uh, we are expecting the feedback on any video that is being uploaded. Please, we want your comments. Please share to others also to learn. So you know, we want everybody to know mathematics. Thank you so much. Now today, on this video, we will be teaching on theory of logarithms. Theory of logarithms. If you have not watched our indices, please try to do so. Now, because there's no way you want to do logarithms that you will not know indices. You have to know indices because there's an aspect of logarithms that will be converting into indices. So you have to you need to watch the indices part that we have offered. You see 21 or 20 questions on indices. Please try to do so. Now, law of logarithms. Tell me what you Laws of logarithms. Number one, I will be talking about the multiplicative law of logarithms. Multiplicative law of logarithms. Now imagine you have something like this, the logarithms. Log M A this A. Actually, this kind of law is, it is multiplicative law. Because this m n means m times n. This actually means m times n, which is m n. We're talking about the multiplicative law. Now, anytime you have something like this in logarithms, what you do? The multiplication is going to turn to additions. That means it's going to turn to something like this log m this a plus log n this a so that is what is going to turn to that is what we call multiplicative law of logarithms now imagine you have something like this according to law one now you have something like this you have log log 30 the six the six definitely you can also talk to something like this notice 30 it also be six times five that means you can talk to something like log six base six plus log the same base again six is five now what does that mean this this is also means this that means when they have the same base, when they have the same base, you just say you pick one, you now multiply this together. You multiply this together, that is six times five. Base six. Anytime you see the additions, you multiply this together, you pick one. Which is also known as log 30 base six, as this implies. You should not forget that. Now let's continue. First, before we go into details, to the questions. Now, that's what I want to call divisional law. Divisional law of indices. Now, if you have something like this log, log of um, m n m over m base b. Now, this is actually the division. As you can see, it's actually the division. Now, what? Anytime you see question like this in log division. This is a divisional law. What will division turn to? You don't turn to minus. Like the first one, multiplication turn to plus. Now you now turn to log m base b minus log n base b. This is what you're going to turn to. You're going to turn to log m base b minus. Division the there will change to minus. The same way if they give you something like this. The same way, actually, they give us something like this log C base A minus log D base A. Now, you can also turn to divisions. I mean, the minus can also turn to division. You can also turn to something like this log C all over D division base A. And you see that the minus can turn to divisions. And division can also turn to minus. That is a law. Now, another law of logarithms. You have power law. Like when you have log b 
base n raised to the power k. This is log b, log b, base n raised to the power k. What would I want to come to? Anytime you have something like this in log base, this power, you can bring it to the back here. This permitted. So that means you turn to k log b base n. In the same way, let's say you are solving log this. The same way you bring this form to the back, if there is a need uh, at times, if you are talking of you have some like C log log D base A. The same way you are permitted to bring this form to here. That means you also talk to log D base A raised to power C. You are also permitted. Now, when it is like this, you can bring it like this. It is allowed in log to the power log. And also, when it is like this, it's also allowed for you to bring it as a power to this one. And there is also another law that most textbooks don't talk about. Now, when it's something like this in log videos, when it's something like this in log videos, log is another law. Log b base a plus power c, and this one also is power like m. Look at this kind of. You can also get to a, a point in log videos that you have something like this how will you not tap out something like this and you know that normally this will come here it is allowed for this to come here that means m log b base a raised to power c now how will you not do with this again this anytime the, the base is having the power so this one will come and become one over here that means if it becomes 1 over here, so that means if you come to m all over c log b base a. This one will come and turn to 1 all over c here. And you know that m, it will come to m over c log b base a. That is the meaning. And again, if you don't get it very well, what am I talking about? If it is like this, let's say if it is like this, log a like log c based a raised to power d raised to power d so what will it come to that means you know this one will come and come to one over here that means one all over d log c base a like it's still the same thing see actually the same thing so we have to take note of that now another thing what we need to know another log that we need to know in the log videos aspect. It's still another law we call. There's a case whereby log videos will have the same base log of log videos log videos of log videos having The same, the same base and log. Another log like that. When you have like log 10 base 10, what does that mean? Anytime you are having the same log with the base, answer will always be one. Answer will always be one. Always be one. Like if I have like log, log on A. Base A, answer is 1. That means if I have something like this in log videos, if I have something like this in log videos, log A, base 2. If I have something like this, log A, base A, base part 2. I can bring this one here, like the way I, I said, like 2 log A, base A. You know that this is 1. And 1 times 2, that will be 2. We should not forget that. We should not forget that. We should not forget that. Another law of log readings. Another law of log readings. We have um, some of our testing. We have a called chain of base. Chain of base. Change of base. 
if I have log A, B, C, if I have log A, B, C, if I want to change this to change of base, I want to apply change of base, I will now say log A all over log C. Now, by the time you use this, if you want to use change of base, both of them will carry log, log A, but it now turns to all over. This base also will turn to log. That's all for the log called change of base. And in case you want to use um, inverse of the log, like when you have something like this, inverse of the log, log, log B base C. That means if I say inverse of this, that would be 1 all over log. If you put 1 all over, that's a log. That means base will come and go to log. 1 all over log C is B. Anytime you want to use the inverse, you know, you can face with a, a conditions in log regimes where this can be needed. Where this can be needed, that you need to put it in inverse. By the time you apply the inverse, the base will come to log and the log will come to base. And also, also know that every log, every log is, or is having natural base called base 10. Every log, like if I write something like this log 7, even though I don't, I, I, I do not tell you, you should know that every log is having natural base called base 10. It's having natural base called base 10. Every log is having natural base called base 10. Even though I do not write it there, even though I do not include it there, you should know that every um, log has a natural base called base 10. Okay. Now, let us now solve questions on the, the laws we have talked about. Now, number one says we should evaluate evaluate log four over nine base two over three. Now, look at this kind. We said we should evaluate log 4 over 9 base 2 over 3. And let me tell you something. There is what we call changing of log readings into indices. Changing of log readings into indices. We can change log to indices. Now, before I solve this, let me show you how to change log to indices. It's very, very important. If they give you like this log A base C, if I want to change this log into indices, what would I do? I'll just say, equals to x just equate it to x when you equate it to x you will now bring this x here as a power you we'll bring this one out that means it will turn to c raised to power x it will come and turn to power x equals to a by the time you do something like this this log readings will not come again you have changed this log readings into indices this is how we change log readings into indices equate it to letter most times x bring this x here to come and turn to power of this base and whatever i said bring it out and equals to separate them so it has turned to indices it change log reading to indices now this kind of questions here now this kind of question here i can change these log regimes into indices and i'll get my value i'll just say equals to x and I, I can even do it in two ways, but let me do it like this first. You know, forget that this x will come and come to power here. That means 2 over 3 raised to power x equals to, you bring this one out, 4 over 9. By the time you change the log regimes to indices, this log will not come again. That means it will not come to 2 raised to power x over 3 equals to, you know, according to indices, I can change this over 9 to. 2 over 3 and that's raised to power 2 which is possible because 2 raised to power 2 4 3 raised to power 2 9 that means I can do like this 2 over 3 raised to power 2 and as you can see this and this they are the same thing you can cancel them because there is a equals to you know in the indices 
base, if base are equal, they can cancel. Base can cancel this. But base cannot cancel power. It's not possible. Base can cancel this. They are equal. And the power will not equal to power. That is my S equals to 2. So the answer here is 2. The value of this log is 2. And somebody asked me, how can we do it again if I don't want to do it like this? There's another way I can apply it to do it. Go. I can also do it like this. If they give me like this, I can say log. I'll just say 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 2. No, 2 raised to power 2, 4, 3 raised to power 2, 9, and base 2 raised to power 3. Now, can you see that according to the law, I said this can come to the back. When it comes to the back, that means 2 log 2 over 3 base 2 over 3. And you see, I told you according to the law, when the logarithms is the same thing as base, it means 1. So that means everything you see here that's turned to 1 because the log and base are the same, it's 1. That means 2 times 1, that is 2. 2 times 1, that is 2. That's the first example, you have to take note of that. Okay, now when you look at this second example, then, they say evaluate without using things. Without using things. According to the law, you see that this one is having plus, okay. this one is having minus, this one is having plus. If I were, I were like you, and I know that the plus and plus will lead to multiplications. And another thing you have to check is that are they having the same base? Yes, the same base is with all of them. What you do is just that you say, well, this one that are having plus and this plus, you know that they will change to the multiplications. That means you have to multiply them together. That means 1.44 times 0.0625. Now, this one is not having minus. That means this one, if the comp on that is that's divided by, because according to the law, division will change, minus will change to division, divided by 90. 1.2. And you have to one out of the base, the step. As simple as that, you don't add it by the plus. With two plus, you multiply them together according to the law. So the vision, the minus will change to the vision. You pick one out of the base because they are having the same base. They must have the same base before you follow this process. So that means logs. Now, if you multiply this and this together with your calculator and you divide it by 90, it will give you, no, give you 0 0.001. 0 0.001. The instant. If you multiply this together and you divide by 90, it will give you this base 10. Now, what you now do now? Very simple. You can just say log. Change this one to fractions. You know when you have 0 0.0001. 0 .001. What does that mean? This is the place one of 0 is 10, 100, 1000. That means 1 all over 1000. That's mean 1 all over 1000 base 10. Now, according to the law of indices, if I say 1 all over 10 raised to power 3, you know, 1000 is 10 raised to power 3, if I bring it up, it will go 10 raised to power minus 3. As well, no. that means I can also say, I can say equals to 10 log 10 raised to power minus 3 is 10. So I will just bring this one to the back. So it will minus 3 log 10 is 10. And this is 1. 1 times minus 3. Our answer is minus 3. Or better still, you can also apply the, the you can change this logarithm to indices. You can say equals to x. Anyone you like. And you bring this x here. Let's turn this to our x and bring this one out. You are still going to get your minus 3. When you bring it out, change this to fraction like this. When change it to fraction like this, raise it up. So it will come 10 is to minus 3. 10, 10 is 10 to the 10 is to power 1 equals 10 is to power minus 3. Then you can see 1 and you get your minus 3. So if you apply that or, or the method also, you still get this. Now, under 1 under the 1. Now, in this case, you have log 49 divided by log 343. So, as simple as we had log 49 divided by log 343. 
even though you don't, you know, if it is minus, now let me clear it. If it is minus, the put they say log 49. Now see my, you know, I thought that every log has a natural base called is 10. Even though they don't put it, they have a minus log 343. Even though they don't put it, you know, it's based on Isaiah. This one is different from this. Definitely, this one is done to log 49 over 343. Base 10. This is what this one will turn to. Please don't forget the minus, the common change of divisions, and the, these two will come like this. And you pick one. But, and you cannot use that law. Equals to x, just equate it and bring this thing out. But in this case, in this case, they just said log 43 divided by log 43. That's why we turn something like this. Now let's solve for this. You know, log 49 can be log 7 raised to power 2. This all over log 343 can be 7 raised to power 3. So that means I can put this one to the back. I can put this three to the back. That means I'll be having log two log seven over three log seven. Now, now students, we know that this can easily cancel this. So our answer will be two all over three. Two all over three. As simple as that. Now let's go to our one. Now look at this. The cell is simplified. Log 27 over 4 minus log 9 over 8 plus log 1 over 24. All of them are in the same base, base 2. Now, you know that minus in logarithms will change to divisions. And you know that plus will change to uh, multiplications. And you know in your mathematics board mass, when you are having the divisions and uh, multiplications, you can do them together according to the law of board mass. So I'm just trying to let you know again that this thing you can just say log. Open a bracket for them. Holy 27 God, no, all over 4. You know this minus? Change, it will change to division. Divide by, by 9 over 8. This plus will change to times. Times 1 all over 24. All in base 2. All in base 2. That means you, got, you have log in base 2. That is 27 all over 4. And we know that in a fraction, division will change to multiplications. That is times. And anytime division comes to multiplication, the fractions in front will interchange. That means 8 all over 9 times 1 all over 24. So that means you are having log is 2. That means 4 year 1, 4 year 2. But again, that is 9 year 1, 9 year 3. So that means you are having 3 times 2, 6. 6 times 1, that is 6. Over 1 times 1, 1, 1 times 24, that is 24. So that means I'm having the log. Now, two can go. Two here, three. Two in 24, that is um, 12. This two. Again, I can say three L1, three L4 in this two. Now, if I have log one over four, this two. If I want to write the final answer, how would I express it? So that means it will turn to. I have log 1 over 4, these 2. So definitely I can just say log equals to log 4 is to power minus 1, these 2. And when you raise it up, it will carry minus 1. So which also means that log 2 raised to power minus 2, these 2. You know, if we change this 4 into an index, that will be 2 raised to power 2. But because of this minus 1 here, it will not make it become minus 2. So you bring this one to the back. So that will be minus 2 log 2 base 2. This is 1. 1 times minus 2. That is minus 2. So, that is answer for that. Now, another one. Now, look at this case now. Look at this case. They are not having the same base. This base 7, this base 10. So, what do we do? You can do it separately. You are going to do this one separately. You cannot say this divided by this because of this minus. Yes. You can't say it because they are not having the same base. They are going to Take them one after the other. So if I do this one first, log 49 base A 
49 raised to the power AB7. So that means log 49 can be 7 raised to the power 2 A B7. So if I bring this to the back, so that will be 2A log 7B7. And log 7B7 is 1. 1 times 2A, that is 2A. This one actually give me 2A. The second one is log 0.01 base 10. So 0 0.01, you put it in form of fractions, that will be log 1 over 100. No, 10 100 base 10. So that means log this one become 1 over 10 is power 2. In other words, 10 is power 2. When you bring it up, it becomes 10 is power minus 2. So that means 10 raised to power minus 2 base 10. This one will come to the back here. Okay? That's minus 2 log 10 base 10. And what is log 10 base 10? That is 1. So 1 times minus 2. That is actually minus 2. Now, do not forget there is a minus here already. This one give me 2a. This one give me minus 2. That is, I said 2a, the minus I said minus into bracket. This one give me minus 2, the bracket minus 2. So my answer is going to be 2a minus and minus plus 2. That is 2a minus 2. Okay, if you look at this kind of log division stuff, then we should evaluate this. Now, you see, this is base 10, base 10, divided by base 10, base 10. That will be the same base, and you see the minus there. So definitely, you know that this guy is going to turn to log this one, the numerator part, is going to turn to 8 over 4. 8 divided by 4, the minus 10 should divisions. Take one, base 10, all over. This one is also minus 10 should divisions, log, as will be 4 all over 2, base 10. So definitely, we're going to have log, no, 4 year 1, 4 year 2. That is log 2 base 10, all over log, this is also 2, 2 base 10. They are the same thing, so our answer is 1. Our answer is 1. When you see minus, is changed to divisions, minus change to divisions, they are, they are in the same base, they are in the same base. So, the next one. Oh. Now, look at this kind of log again. You see, it's having plus, minus. But, it, if they are having the same base, we know the rule is to do it. If, let's say they are having log base 2, base 2, base 2. We just multiply these two together and you divide it by this one. But they are having different base. So, that means you are doing them separately. You pick this one out, log 4, base 2. So, you do this one separately. You know, you can do it in two ways. You can either you do it like this, log, this four can be two raised to the power two, base two. And you bring this one to the back here. Two, log two, base two. Log two, base two, that is one. One times two, that is two. Or you do it like equal to x. Now, say two raised to the power x. You bring this one here. And you bring this one down, equal to four. That is two raised to the power x equals to two raised to the power two. You cancel this, your x equals to two. Either you do it like this or you do it like this, but still going to get your two. Now, now the first one has given us two. So you take the second one also, log two base four. Log two base four. What you do? So that means it's going to be log two. That base four, it changes to log two is part two. Like I told you earlier. Now, if you have changed. This base to log two is power two. I told you when I was explaining the law that this if the power in the base but power is having power, this power will come and turn to one over two a log two base two. This power come and turn to one over two a, and this is one, and one over two times one that is actually one over two. Now the last one is take this one also log five base twenty five. So definitely, this one also will turn to log 5. This 25 will be 5 raised to power 2. And the 5 raised to power 2, this one also come and turn to 1 over 2 log 5 base 5. So this will be 1. 1 times 1 over 2, this will be 1 over 2. Now, we have the first one give us 2 plus the second one give us what? 1 over 2. The third one gives us 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2. This one is over 1. 
Now, you know that plus 1 over 2 can cancel minus 1 over 2. Our answer is 2. Because 2 over 1 is still 2. Without wasting our time. Next one. Now, if you look at this, there is no base. There is no base. There is no base. What does that one tell you? It means that it is having a natural base called base 10. So, but what you do here? There is a 2 here. Like I told you, this 2 can come. Like it will come log 2 over 5 here. Now bring this 2 here. According to the log minus log 72 over 125 plus log 9. So that means it's going to be log. This 2 is part, that is 4 over 5 is part, that is 25 minus log 72 over 125 plus log 9. According to the law, don't forget they are having natural base called base 10. Natural base called base 10. So according to the law, we just see log open the bracket 4 over 25. The minus you change to division divided by 72 over 125 plus you change to times times 9 over 1. All in base 10. Or in base 10. That means log base 10. That means 4 over 25. Division will change to times times. And this will come up. This will go down. 125 over 72 times 9 all over 1. 9 all over 1. That means I'm going to have. So we are going to see. okay. Let's start cutting then. Five can go here. Five a that's five. Five in one twenty-five. Twenty-five. And five in twenty-five. Five equal here one. Five in twenty-five five. So that means we are having four here over one times five all over seventy-two times nine all over one. Then all over one. So that means after that, having log 9A1, 9A8, and 4A1, 4A2. That means 5, 1 times 5, 5, all over 1 times 2, 2 times 1 times 2. So that means. Now that we are having this, log 5 over 2 is 10. No, it's also the same thing as if I want to write like log 5 base 10 minus log 2 base 10. It's actually the same thing. Actually the same thing. So that means I can say, I think that should be the No, if I say it goes to x, then it's for x equal to 5 over 2. I think that should be. Hmm, of course, it's first. Now, in this case, what do we do? There is no base here, there is no base, there is no base. What does that mean? It is having a natural base called base 10. Having a natural base called base 10. You can bring these two up here. It is possible. That means log. Just open the bracket, put this two over five. According to the law, no can do this as this part two. Put your base 10 natural base minus log 72 all over 125. Natural base base 10. When you don't see any base, it means it, it is having natural base called base 10 plus log 9 base 10. So what next? That will be log 2 is part two, 4 over 25. 10 minus log 72 all over 125 base 10 plus log 9 base 10. Now, what now do after that? That will log open your bracket 4 all over 25 
division will take the minus will take the division. Seventy two over one twenty five. Loss will change to times times nine over one. Just pick one out of the natural base base ten. So that means log four over twenty five. Division will change to times times. This one go up. This one come down. That is one twenty five all over seventy two times nine over one. All in base ten. That means log this thing you have now let's try to cut it nine year one nine year eight five year five five year twenty five five year five five year five year one five year five so you have four year one four year two that means one times five 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 times one five five all over one times two 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 times one Log five over two be steady. Now, if I, let, don't let us stop here. If I don't stop here. Let's still try to simplify this. I'm trying to simplify this. Log five all over two be steady. So it's going to give us, you know, this is divisions. If I turn to log. 5 base 10 minus plus 2 base 10. You know, the, this one is going to change the divisions. And base 10. Now, what are we going to do from there? We can say, beyond that, 10 over 2 also means 5. 10 over 2 also means 5. That means I can also say I can change this one to log 10 over 2 base 10 this 5 to so 10 over minus log 2 base 10. So I'll now say log again. Log 10 base 10. You know, I'm going to change this to minus again. Minus log 2 base 10 minus log 2 base 10. So this is one and minus log two base ten minus log two base ten. That's minus two log two base ten. You know it happens sometimes like minus one minus one minus two. So this will be the last. And next one. Go. Now if you look at this, this is talking about the relationship between the uh, indices and logarithms. Can you see this is indices? This logarithms. This logarithms. They can come like that. So, because I told you that logarithm can also be changed to indices, so they are, you know, they are, they are friends. So, now how can we do this? According to our law of logarithms, I can do indices, change this to index from 4 is power 2 and um, 3 over 2, 2 cancel 2, and by 4 is power 3, that is 64. Now, now look at the second one, log. 0 0.0001 is 10. That is log. This will turn to tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. Ten thousand, that is something like this. How many zeros? That is one zero. So because it is point here, that is one all over ten thousand. And one all over, you know, it's decimal, it's going to be like this. That is one all over ten is power four. And if I bring it up, it's going to give me ten is power minus four. So that is 10 to the power minus 4 base 10. So, and according to our law, according to our law, this minus 4 can come here as minus 4 log 10 base 10. This is 1. So, 1 times minus 4, that is minus 4. Now, and the last one, say that is log, you know, 32, that is going to be 2 raised to the power 5. 32 is 2 raised to the power 5. Base two. This will come here. That is five log two base two. This is one. One times five. That is five. That is five. So that means our answer is going to be first one got sixty four. Second one got minus eleven. No, this plus here. Plus times minus 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 four. Sorry, it's minus four. So. And the last one we got five. Plus five. 
Now 64 minus 4 is 60. And 60 plus 4 is 65. Now the next one. Now in this case, is that if 2 log x plus log open bracket y minus 2 close bracket equals 0, it now says find y in terms of x. Find y. We are looking for y. But the meaning of find y in terms of x is that we are looking for y, but our answer must contain x. As we of find y in terms of x, we are looking for y, but that answer we are going to get must contain x. That is the meaning. Now, let us now stop. According to the law, they don't have base. That's they have natural base called base 10. So that means I can just bring this back here. That means log x this part 2 is 10 plus log y minus 2 base 10 equals. Now the log 0 can also call log uh, 0 can become log 1. That's the log it is. Yes, log 1 also means 0. If I want to show you, that is log 1 equals to x is 10. Are you? Bring this one here. That's 10 is power x. Bring the 1 out equals to 1. 10 is to power x equals to 10 is to power 0. No, any 10 is to power 0 is 1. 10 cancel to 10. Power x equals to 0. Hence that log 1 can also be 0. So that's why we change this 0 to log 1. Now, Now, when I have something like this, a plus, I can now multiply. They are having the same base. I can multiply this by this. That means, it's, um, you know, it's going to be the same as x squared multiplied by y minus 2. Because I know that plus is, is turns to multiplications. x squared times this equals to log 1. Base 10. And so, this. so this can cancel be log in base 10 can cancel log in base 10. So we are having left with x squared to bracket y minus 2 equals to 1. But do not forget, what am I looking for? They say, find y in terms of x. I'm looking for y, and here, here is y. I can define this as x squared. x squared, x squared. This comes with this. That means y minus 2 equals 1 all over x squared. Do not forget, I'm looking for y in terms of x. What will I do? I will bring minus 2 in, to this side. That means y equals to 1 all over x squared plus 2. That's the point. Can you see? I've got some y in terms, in my answer, in terms of x. The next one. Okay, this is substitutions and not the substitutions. <coughs> is it if log 2 base 10 is 0 0.83010 and log 3 base 10 is 0 0.4771 evaluate without using log in this table log 4.5 base 10 now we are looking for this log 4.5 base 10 you know 4.5 I am going to be written as 5 over 10 so that means and 5 here 5 5 here 9 sorry 5 here 2. That means log this thing has turned to 9 over 2 base 10, which I can also write as log 9 base 10 minus log 2 base 10. Now, but what I need, I, I only have log 2, I don't have log 9. That means I can also say, yeah, I can simplify as a log 9 can also be 3 raised to the power 2 base 10 minus log 2 base 10. So I'm bringing this one here. That means 2 log 3 base 10 minus log 2 base 10. Now that I have this, I've simplified it. And now that I, I have log 3 and I have log 2, I will now substitute according to the substitution in log rhythms. I'll just say 2 open bracket. What is log 3? Log 3 is 0 0.4771 close bracket minus what's log 2? Log 3 is 0 0.3010 0 0.3010 So our answer will be so if we multiply 2 times um, 
4.00 plus 0. Point. Sorry, let me write it up here so that we can see it clearly. Multiply this by this. You're having 0. 0.9542. 0 0.9542 minus 0 0.3010. So we subtract 0. 0.9542 minus 0. 0.3010. 2, 3, 5, 6.0 that is 0 0.6532 now this is another of one question under the substitutions in logarithms now we are given s equals to log 2 and y equals to log 3 now so we should express log cube root of 72 in terms of x and y how do you do that? Now, you know that this one can also be written as this. That's okay, log 72 is power. That's cube root. So that means I can express this guy 72 as um, 9 times 8. Yes. Log 9 super 3 times log eight you know i can do like this before i do that i can do like this like nine times eight and not like this we all know that natural base is base 10 which also means i can also do like this log nine is 10 to power one three which is plus log eight is 10. as you all know that in what, uh, the additions is going to change to multiplication as you see and this thing is meant for this and this so after that but don't forget you only need log 2 and log 3 so from here this log 9 i can write it as 3 you know i can bring this one to the back here 1 over 3 as you all know and this 9 can be 3 raised to power 2 this term plus this guy can also be 1 over 3 and bring this one to the back log 2 raised to power 3 base 10. Now, after that again, it is also allowed that this 2 will bring it back here. And 2 times 1 is 2. That's going to be 2 all over 3. Log 3 base 10 plus, if I bring this 3 back here, 2 times 1 is 3. 3 over 3 that is 1. 1 log 2 base 10. Now, it has shown because we have log 3 now, and they say log 3 we always be y, and we have log 2 now. They say log 2 we always be x, and they say we should express in terms of x and y. That means our answer is half x and y, anything we get. Now, that means 2 over 3, what is my log 3? My log 3 is y. y plus, what is my log 2? My log 2 is x. That means x so that is my answer 2 all over 3y plus x what is it in terms of x and y so our answer actually contain x and y let's do one more now the substitution for more okay is that the, the last key on substitution in logarithms before we move to another aspect of logarithms now they say given that log y equals to 2 and um, log 2x equals to 1. Evaluate log root y all over 3x. I told you every log root has a natural base of 10. Okay? What can we do? We need for us to evaluate this. That definitely, um, I need x and I need that. This one is already showing log y. So I can, I have to play with this. I have to change this to y, to log y, so that I can substitute. Now, very simple. I want to change this one to y. No, but that means this one can turn to log. This can turn to log y raised to power 1 over 2 instead over 3x. In which this can come to the back here. Yeah. That is 1 all over 2 equals 1 all over 2 log 
wife is ten, all the three things. And actually, I know love wife. Love wife is ten is two. So I know that this guy has turned to two. That means one over two times two. All over. So I need x. How do I get x? I can get x from here too. Don't forget the substitutions. And do you remember if we check the previous examples I, I did? That you want to get x, you bring this one here as the power here, you bring this one out. You change the log limb, log limbs into indices. That means it's going to be 10 raised to the power 1 equals to 2x. So this log limb has already been changed into indices. And then it's for one you actually take. So you don't pull out yourself. We divide this up by two. So my x is five. Now that I've known my x to be five, I just place the five here. That means three times five, that is 15. So answer is two times one, two. Two divided by two. That's one. One all over 15. That was all of substitution in logarithms. Uh, let's move to another aspect of logarithms. Now, <clears throat> according to the laws I've given previously, that there's one called change of base. You start watching this uh, from the beginning, on the flash back a little bit, to go and see how I frame that a law called change of base. And like I told you, even though you can use a normal way of solving it to solve it, like you just say equals to x, and you do like this. You bring the x as a power of this, you bring down 125, and you can also solve it like that. But uh, you can now use, but there's another method of solving it, we call it change of base. But there's a need for us to know every method, because one thing about mathematics is that you can get to a point whereby that method you used to, they twist it, they twist it in the sense that the other method will be only one suitable for it. So that's why you have to know all the methods. They are very, very important. Now, if you want to use change of base, eh, how do you call change of base? If you remember, first thing what you do is that before you do change of base, let's turn this decimal to fractions. That means log 125. You know, 0.20 is almost the same thing as 20 over 100. Why? 10 is 100. 0 comes to 0. 2 here 1, 2 here 5. That is 1 over 5. That means this is log 125 base 1 all over 5. Now, if I want to now use change of base, that means it's going to become log 125. You log this one, you also log this one, all over log 1 over 5. That's why you got change your base. You are going to put this base as normal log, but you separate it with divided by. Now, what you now do when you are applying change your base, you supply the same base to both of them. The same base to both of them. Let me supply base 5 and base 5. Now, after you've done that, you can now go ahead. What is index form of 125? That is 5 raised to power 3. That means log equals to log 5 raised to power 3 base 5 all over log. You know, this one will be 5 raised to power minus 1 base 5. You turn this on according to indices. When you raise it up, you turn this. Now, you are bringing this to the back. That is, if you bring this one to the back, that is 3 log 5 base 5 all over log minus 1 log 5 this 5 definitely this cancel this so your answer is minus 3 the answer is minus 3 that's what is called change of base but well, let me pick one more so that is change of base and remove now you can also apply change of base to solve this two as well but like i told you you may not even use change of base it's not that necessary because we can solve this thing ordinarily and how do we solve it ordinarily? You know, get your x out of this. When you get your x out of it, put it here. When you put your x out of this, you cannot use changing of log limits into indices. After you have gotten your x, and how do you do that? Just say equals to any letter. You can put equals to y or equals to x. After you have gotten your x, just bring it out as a power here and bring this one out. And you solve it in the way you solve your indices and get your answer. But now, we want to use change of base, how do we do it? We are still going to get our x out of this. If I want to get my x out of this, you know, this one has the power, this, this one will come out. That will be x raised to power 2 equals to 256. That means x raised to power 2 equals to, now 256 is 16 raised to power 2. We check it 16 times 16 is 
I used to live. Some people are saying that, ah, some people used to ask me that, how are we getting this thing very fast? That how do I know that it's 16 to power 2? No, this your three factor can help you. 256. When you use this method to help you, by the time you are picking them, picking them, you will know the right things. Okay. Now, 16 raised to power 2, you know, power can cancel power. And base will be equal to base. Or base cancel base and power equals to power. Any of the two. That means our x is 16. Now that I've gotten my x, but they have to, they have to find this. This is going to be your past questions in the down. I have to find this. That means log to bracket 1 all over what? 16. Base 8. Now, like I told you, even though we don't want to use change of base, you can use normal method. That's equals to x. Now, bring 8 raised to the power x equals to 1 over 16. And 1 over 16 becomes 16 raised to the power minus 1. So, just 8 raised to the power x uh, changes to 2 raised to the power 3. That is 2 raised to the power 3 x equals to, you know, this one 16 raised to the power minus 1 changes to 2 raised to the power minus 4. So, you cut to cut to, in which you get the answer very fast. But if you want to use change of base, that means, you know, the, the way we use change of base, you say log this 1 over 16, all over, you now log this one also, log 8. You log them, you log the normal log, and you also log the base. That's change of base. And I told you, you supply the base, the same base for them. I'm going to supply two. Somebody, you may ask me that, why am I not the kind of base to supply? Because your insight will tell you that, by the time you are raising this thing, you're going to be two raised to power. Two raised to power. That's why it will work. So, whenever, what, that number that will work, is going to be your target, to that is going to be your base. Like, the other examples I did, how do I know that it's 5 I will put as a base? Because I target that when, when I'm raising that 125, I'm going to raise it in form of 5 raised to power 3. And I'm, when I'm raising 5, 1 over 5, that base, I know that it's going to be 5 raised to power minus 1. That one gave me the insight that this is going to be base 5. Now that, now that you have done this, this already you have applied to your base, you know, this one will become log 16 raised to power minus 1 is 2. By the time you apply your log in indices, log this one is actually 2 raised to power 3, base 2. And you know that this 16 raised to power minus 1 can be 2 raised to power 4, which is, this minus is going to affect it, 2 raised to power minus 4. Log 2 raised to power minus 4, base 2, all over this thing come here, 3 log 2, base 2. Now that we have done this, you know that this minus 4 can also come in. That means minus 4 log 2 base 2 all over 3 log 2 base 2. This is 1. This is 1. So our answer is going to be what? Our final answer is going to be minus 4 all over 3. Minus 4 all over 3. Oh. Now, before we go to the logarithm equations, please try to try this on your own. Try this for your own. The very popular questions in your jump series. Like, but I have to give you a clue. Let me give you a clue. You know, this guy is going to be 3 raised to power 3, and um, 4 raised to power 3, and 4 raised to power minus 1, 3 raised to power minus 4. When it is 3 raised to power minus 4, the minus 4 comes. So this one turns to 1. You have your minus 4 here. 4 raised to power minus 1. 4 raised to power 3. 3 come here. The minus 1 come under it. Because the power here will come under it, this one. So this one turns to 1. 3 raised to power 3. This one comes to 2. You just manipulate it. Try that. Now let's go to the log equations. Oh. Now this is another aspect of logarithms. We call it logarithmic equations. Logarithmic equations. They say solve for x in the equations. Now, if you are watching me right here and maybe you are preparing for your work, your jam. Now, after you've watched all these uh, teachings and you, you know, you jot them down. Now, the next thing to do is that you don't need any teachers to begin. Just go straight to your past questions, either your jump or your work. Search for all the logarithms you see there and build the capacity yourself. It's very important. Now, <clears throat> when you are solving logarithmic equations, very fine, this one is having the same base. 
But you have to target this guy too. How do you target it? You can just say log. You know, you have the same base. Is two to bracket. Have my x to the power four to be times x equals to five. Very very important. Very very important. Like you know, I pick one, and according to the law, that means I have to multiply this together. Because if I want to split it, it will become something like this. So you can also do like this. You know, log. Apply your indices, pick, and this can also be two. Like if you want to log this side, if you want to log this side, I have a log two raised to the power five b three. Now you might ask me that, why did I do this? You know that this thing I did is almost the same thing as five, because whatever you are going to do to it when you log it. Must make sure that you must make sure that it's it's still the same as five. Because if I bring this five here, five log two base two, two base three is log two base three is one. One times five is five. And how do I know what to use? To know why? Because there's go. Okay, so what I'm saying now is that this is you know base to power one. You pick one, so you have the four plus one and the base, and you have to log the other side. When you log the other side. It must give you the same thing as five. That's why I use log two raised to the power five base two. Why? Because if I bring this five here, according to the law, if you bring this five here, log two base two is one, one times five is five. That also give five. And how do I know that it's two I'm going to use? Because I see two. The two that is here must also be used here. It's very, very important. That means it will become log x raised to the power five base two equals to two raised to the power five raised to the two base two. This can cancel this, it's allowed. And x raised to the power 5 equals to 32. No, 32 is also 2 raised to the power 5. And 5 comes to 5. Our s equals to 2. Now, these are other logarithmic equations. Anytime you see it goes like this, tell you that it's a, it's a logarithmic equation. How do you solve this? They are not of different, they are of different base. So don't go and multiply them together. They are of different base. So what you do here is that, log x base 2 plus log this one is actually 3 raised to power 4 base 3 equals to 1 now bring this one here I'm just log x base 2 plus 4 log 3 base 3 equals to 1 actually you know this one is done to 4 because log 3 base 3 is 1 1 times 4 that is 4 everything we are going to have log x is 2 plus 1 sorry plus 4 equals 1 because log 3 base 3 is 1 1 times 4 4 so just collect your like terms log x base 2 equals 1 minus 4 you collect your like terms that is log x base 2 equals to minus 3 now what do you now do now you change your log regions into indices How do I change my logarithm into indices? Like I told you, bring this one here, bring this one out. It's going to be 2, 2 raised to power, 2 raised to power minus 3 equals to x. And what is that? That is a 1 all over 8. So lastly, on logarithmic equation, let's take one more. Go. Finally, on the logarithmic equation, like I told you, after this, all these teachings, advance yourself, get fast questions for white, for jump, for those that you are writing, and then go try to you know, search for more and use the knowledge you are getting to you know to enter into deep. And you know, it's, it's, it's going to help you a lot. Now, look at this. Let's it solve the equations. How do you solve this? Now, log x minus 8 is power 2 base 10 equals to now when you see ordinary number like this in an equations like the way we're doing it you log it you have to log it it's very important for you to log it how do you log it you log it according to the base you are seeing here i'm going to be log 
10, this 10 is to power 2. And I told you that when you log it, it must actually give you the number back. If I bring this 2 back here, that is 2 log 10 is 10. And log 10 is 10 is 1. 1 times 2 is going to be 2 back. So it's very, very important for you to know that minus log into bracket x plus 1 to power 2 is 10. Now, after you've done that, so let's continue. Log x minus x to power 2 is 10 equals to, you know, in this case, we can apply the divisional roots, divisions, you know, minus, because they have the same base. And what do we do? We say log, we pick one base, so now that would be a square all over x plus 1 all square. As you all know, that is going to be, um, you see, sorry, there is part 2. This there is part 2 that is here. And x plus 1 all square. You know, this is going to be divided by this. That will be minus according to the law. So what's next? How do to do? Like I told you, this can cancel this, actually. Allow so you pick this one out x minus 8 8 is part because if I were you according to your indices, I'll just do like this because this one is power to power two. I'll just open a big big bracket now. Open a big bracket, I will now say 10 all over x plus 1. I will now put this two because I know that when anything is in a bracket like this. This 2 is belongs to this, and 2 is belongs to this. And you know, equals to, as already separated it. So that means this power can cancel power. I can do this. Power can cancel power, base can cancel base, if they are equal. Now we are having x minus 8 equals to 10 all over x plus 1, all over 1. So what do we do? We do cross multiply. We do cross multiply. So that means we are going to have. We are going to have x minus 8 and um, x plus 1 equals to 10. And x times x, that is x squared, plus x minus 8x minus 8 times plus 1, that is minus 8, equals to 10. That means x squared plus x minus 8, that is minus 7x. Minus 8, bring this 10 inside. Minus 10 equals 0. Equals 0. So after that, all you do. I have the x squared now minus 7x. Minus 8 minus 10 dash minus 18. Equals 0. So we'll now solve our quadratic equation. That is a Minus eight times minus eighteen times s squared. That's minus eighteen s squared. What are the two numbers we need? Plus two x minus nine x. Plus two x minus nine x. All right. So that means we're going to do s squared. We neglect this. We're going to write that like minus nine x plus two x minus eighteen equals zero. So you group them. Now what is common now? Here yeah, that is x. X is common. Minus 9 plus 2 and x minus 9. Equals 0. So we're going to have x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 9 equals 0. X plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 9 equals 0. In which you know that s equals to minus 2 or s equals to 9. So that is going to be our answer. That's very important. Please, hello, I'm, I'm urging you and I'm begging us, everyone in the house, that we should please try to subscribe to this channel. It is very, very important. That's the only way you can help this channel. Please, I share it. 
share it, subscribe don't watch it only just subscribe and you press like and also you comment so comment thank you so much for watching